In this video we're going to show you how to fill your continuous ink supply system for an Epson printer. Um, what we always do is we put the ink tanks up quite high and the reason for this is because gravity then will feed down into the ink cartridges and it will mean that there's far less um, sucking and priming needed. Um, we've already done the cyan the yellow and the black and so what I'm going to show you is how to do the magenta so each and every one are exactly the same so it's going to be quite easy to follow but um, one of the things you need to do first is um, you need to remove the chips they all come off in one piece so what you would do is just put a little blade underneath like any relatively sharp knife and just I'm being really gentle with it and if you see all these little holes and cutouts they're all removed nice and gently um, so what we would do is this is really a fiddly piece but it's just it's just the first setup and once you've got this done you'll have no problems whatsoever so we just slip that out of there nice and gently and again we just place it down and that has to be looked after um, because that's where all the technology is so what we would do then is we remove the plug here, this plug for the magenta. Um, we just remove that so that comes out nice and gently. And as soon as I remove this, you'll see that the ink should start to flow downwards. This is in quite tight. Right. So, right. So what we do then is... All this needs to start now is just a little suck. So you'll get your syringes and everything with your kit. So you put your syringe in here. And if you notice, I'm just pulling up slightly and immediately it started to flow. And it's starting to fill up. So that's, the ink lines are primed. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fill, fill that up nicely. And you can see it's going, I don't, you can see that. Um, it's best just to fill it three quarters of the way. Um, so it's important as well to put that plug back in as quick as you can so it doesn't overflow and to put this one back in here and again you can give it a good push down but just remember if you push down too hard it's quite hard to get back out um, and then you get these little um, these little vents and it's the fatter end that goes in and that goes in there and you can see now that we have all four of them all vented they're all a similar level and what we need to do now is we need to replace this and so this was it's just really again be really gently just put that in slightly sideways bring that down and you need to line up these little dots so there you go and you hear that just clip in again just be really gentle right and, and when you're actually ready to, we'll show you in our next video how to actually put the cartridges in and everything. But um, what you can do is you can you can put that back on the ground when it's ready to use. Lovely, thank you. Uh